Hey everyone, it's Amador and welcome again. So today I'm going to show you my next design team projects for Paper Cakes on, um, by Serena B. I was going to say online, but it's by Serena B. And of course, I will leave the links to her store down here and also to her YouTube channel. You guys have got to check it out. Um, as I've shown you in my last video um, for the Paper Cakes design team, she has three different uh, holiday collections and you may have seen these little treat boxes on um on the first video absolutely love them fell in love with the creepy christmas um totally totally awesome i love the colors and i thought because i'm not really into like the, you know the um the creepy um stuff but this is super freaking adorable like i fell in love with this one and this one is from the snow day and she also has another collection called the grinchy christmas which i showed in my previous video i will leave a link to um to that video so you can see all of the prints i printed every single paper out because they were freaking adorable so I have two projects today that I'm going to share. One is a Project Life Pocket um, scrapbook style page, and another one is a Lightbox printout that I did. So check it out. Here is my, this is a six by eight Project Life um, page. Oh my goodness. Um, so these are uh, the three by four sections. And some of these prints come in a 4x6, but I went ahead and cut them down to a 3x4. Made a little shaker pocket right there. That's the back so you guys can see. So first here, let me just to avoid the glare. This is actually a card that comes in the collection, pre-made and pre-stepped for you. Here comes Santa Claus from, of, cl of course, the, um, the Nightmare Before Christmas inspired line. And I can't take this one out. This one is actually, let me shake this off is actually a snowflake one of the cuts from the sticker file that i cut up and i put in here with this lavender white and black sequence to make a little shaker and i just added a little line with my white jelly pen to kind of um show more that it is a snowflake so it's a cute gooey little scully snowflake a scully flake if you will so now this one this came from another one of the cards that says snow babe and what I did is on my cameo, I went ahead and I put together some of the images like this little snowman um, is a one cut. And then I just um, actually no, this one I did make. I made two separate cuts, two separate. Um, I printed them out twice. I mean, each <laughs> I printed them out each and then I just lined it up here and I cut it off. So it looks like the little snowman is in the cute little um stocking little creepy stocking just a present in the back there's a few little presents it's got a little dimension because you can't put too much dimension in your um project life uh files and just this little black candy cane i feel that it is friggin adorable i'm telling you i totally fell in love with this collection hence why if you notice it's more in these colors for these these two projects now this one again here is that little skull garland that i used in the tree boxes and in all honesty, I could probably use this as a little card, like if I wanted to give this as a gift, and then have a little card as well. I could just make a little card to go with this, which is what I love about this. Um, this is one of the um, this is one of the other card prints, which is this lavender with black polka dots. So I used that to make a tree, and then I also cut out a little eye line to make a little tree. So I wanted to look like a little festive snowman, um, creepy Christmas um party so this right there it says making christmas also inspired by the movie and a little hat to go on top of the snowman so all of these are all completely separate pieces which i just layered there's just, like i said just a little tiny bit of layering um to make this cute cute little scene and i feel that the white border around the tree gives it an accent so you can really see it's a tree as opposed to if it was just kind of like just cut from the actual lavender paper because it would look a little bit close to that so the white really breaks it up so those are those little projects. Like I said, and the several of the cards already come pre-made. Like this one was just printed and I just cut off the corners because they are um, 90 degree angles. So that is my little project life uh, project. Let me move this aside. Let me show you what I'm totally, totally super stoked about. My light box. Bam. So this light box is actually from, this isn't one of the Heidi Swap light boxes. I got this like a year before all of those came out. Um, these actually are, I totally forgot, but these were from the Netherlands, um, and I got them from Tracy, and these, um, it's like little darling 
company or something like that. But anyway, um, this is just a smaller version, um, and it's just super, super cute. So what I did was I took the cards that were in here, and I went ahead and I measured it. So I imported all of these images to my Cameo, um, and then I printed them on printable acetate. But you guys can also use... Um, Vellum. Vellum would probably work well as well because you'll have the whitish kind of a snowy background. So that is this one. Now, this is just a font I had on my Cameo. Of course, I used the skeleton, the little skull garland because I'm totally in love with the little skull garland. Garland, And um, I used the little creepy Santa hat. And here's that little lavender stocking. I wanted to add a little bit of color to the little light. So here, I once again, I layered, here's the font. I layered the little snowman in the back because I wanted it to look like it was um, peeking through. Uh, I made it look like there's a little candy cane hanging from the garland. And again, this awesome garland front and center because I totally, totally fell in love with it. Because, and it has cute little bows. So what I also did now, if you don't want to make the full thing, like I said, what I did was I measured it. I measured the length. I measured the height of this. Just entered that shape, that size into my cameo. And was able to make of those cute little things. Now, I also made extra little icons in case I wanted to just use them with my other, um, use them with my, um, with my other letters or just use specific letters. Let me see. There's, let me just put them on here. And like I said, you don't have to print them on printable acetate because I have regular acetate and it didn't work out. It wouldn't try so and here they are totally totally cute i love the color because the color comes straight through these cute cute little oop, little presents the little stocking get them totally fell in love with that stocking little snowman and the little hat and i could use these with any of my letters or any of my other fonts and stuff that i have so you don't only have to you don't actually have to make like a full-on word but i love the fact that i had this already set up and i can just set it out and it's good to go and if anything, my, if my niece sees this, because she's a little bit of a rocker girl, totally felt will probably fall in love with this. But there you go. Those are my two projects. Totally, totally, totally fell in love. And as you can see, I used almost everything on here is from the Creepy Christmas, except for this is from the Snow Day collection. These little presents. I just love how they how they looked all cute stacked up. And I have them here as well. But everything else is from the Creepy Christmas Collection, which you guys have totally, totally got to check out. Of course, I will leave a link in the description down here for you guys to check that out. So thank you guys for stopping by. You guys check out her channel. Follow Paper Cakes on Instagram and on Facebook. She has tons of stuff. Um, super, super awesome. I'm actually waiting for uh, some stamps and die set because Serena does have her own stamps. And she just released some dies for the, um, her, I totally, I just, uh, for her Creepy Treats collection for the little stamp. It's so, so cute. It's a stamp and die set. You could buy it in the set as well or separate if you already have the stamps because I know the stamps that was released previously, but she does have other stamps and keep it, keep it, keep, keep an eye out. She does have several collections coming up. The new year is starting and I can't wait to see what else she comes up with. So thank you guys again for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.